You guys want to rest here? Gosh, the castle's even larger once you get close to it. What's that shining thing up top? A spirit vessel? It feels creepy, like it's watching over everything. You think he knows we're here? We'd best assume as much, yes. What we have to do is simple. Just beat Volron and rescue Xion. That's it. Try not to work yourself up too much. We have a lot of city and castle yet to traverse. So, this whole you not feeling pain thing, is that for real? Why would I lie about it? And why would you care anyway? No, it's just... you know, I can't imagine what it's like, that's all. As a slave, I'd say it has its advantages and disadvantages. Oh? On the upside, when Ren and soldiers push me around, I hardly flinch. The downside's that I get injured without even noticing. Which means I could be knocking on death's door and not even realize it. Really? Sure. I may be numb to pain, but that doesn't make me immortal or anything. Still, I wouldn't have noticed any of this if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. If not for my fellow slaves, I'd be long dead, lying in a ditch somewhere. How come you don't have a scar on your hand? A scar? What do you mean? The Crimson Crows all tore off their own spirit course, right? But your hand doesn't show any signs of ever having a core like theirs. Why not? I... don't know. I don't remember anything about myself from before Doc found me. Seriously? You have that mask, you don't feel any pain, and you just happen to know how to fight with a sword? No way. You must remember something. I'm not lying if that's what you think. Believe me, I wish I knew who the hell I am. But I don't. It's funny how I didn't have any time for soul searching while digging up rocks in a mine. Still. Are you saying you've told us everything about yourself? Zephyr. It's bad manners to pry when you've got plenty to hide yourself. <laughs> You're not gonna ask me about my past, too? Only when I think it's necessary. You're a real man of mystery, I'll admit. That said, I'm not one to dig around in someone's business just out of curiosity. If you remember something and feel like sharing, you're free to do so. For now, I think that's good enough. Right. Thank you.
This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? Go back to bed. We're almost there, guys. Don't let your guard down. <laughs> I'm excited just thinking about us barging through the front gate. Are you Alfin and his companions? Why would you think that? You are the only one scheduled to arrive, and there are no unscheduled arrivals in Ganeth Haros. So I'll ask again, are you Alfin and his companions? We are. Then pass. Lord Volron is expecting you at Castle Del Faris. Well, suppose it's rather nice of them to roll out the red carpet for us. <sighs> so we're supposed to meet him in there? What do we do now? Let's see how things look around the city first. Then we'll make our way to the castle. Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now, if we only knew where they were keeping Xion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely. What was that about? 
They were Danins, right? That wasn't normal. Wait, you don't think it could have been the fruit of Helgen, do you? No, they seem too... docile. What about astral energy? Could you sense any coming from them? No, and I'm pretty sure I could tell if it was. If not that, though, then what? Speaking of which, it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either. They were headed for the castle. I have a bad feeling about those boats. I get what you mean. It didn't feel like those folks are just commuting to work. The waterway they're floating on appears to lead to Del Faris Castle. If we follow it, we may learn more about what's taking place here. So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside, it feels more like a hollowed-out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, it might be in the mood to give us some answers. Man, this place gives me the creeps. La, your legs are shaking. What? Liar? Just kidding. You... I've seen ghost towns that were more alive in this city. Where the hell did all the Danans and Renans go? Shion. There's nobody here either. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle, but... No good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing. Or breaking through, for that matter. And yet, this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... that murdering monster? It's all a demonstration designed to provoke. To prove to us, no, to Alfin, just what he's capable of. Kidnapping Xion. 
killing all those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? Why do all this just to get at me? You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Let's move. <sighs> Damn it. How awful. All of those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. Is this what I think it is? Those people, they were all... He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. Still, if it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion perhaps, but frankly I doubt it. But that would mean they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts. Whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods, the outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. Shion! Wait! Uh, something's not right. Everyone... They're gone. And I'm... all alone. It's dark. Please help me. 
Shion. It's so dark. Everyone. We came to save you. It's okay now. There's a Med Stark Astral Energy here. Far too potent to be the work of a single individual. It's possible Volron's manipulating her. But we cannot tell from this far away. We need to be much closer. Only to do that. First we need to get rid of the thorn. So we fight fire with fire! Unless you have a better idea. In a bind? I'm alone. I'm all alone. Shion! I can't die. But I also can't live. Sion! I... I... Sion! We're coming for you! Won't let you down this time! This pain I feel... It's nothing compared to what you're going through! I won't let you go again! I can take whatever you give me! So please... Open your eyes! Sion! Hey, 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 hey. Looks like he carved through one! First strike! I'll end you! I'll tear you apart! You're finished! Tiger Blade! Resonate with the air! Hurricane Blast! Lightning! Take strike! 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 Now! The thorns just keep growing back. If this keeps up, then... Please wake up, Xion! Come back to us! I'm alone. Alone? I'm completely alone. You're wrong. <gasps> Elfin! She thinks we left her all alone. She can't see us. Or hear us. <laughs> all of this... It's because I pulled away from you. Because I couldn't hold on to you. Shion. Well, too. <clears throat> Kisara and Doheling. <laughs> and so am I.
you. Not to be so careless. <laughs> there is no more time for us to rest. Let us finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. away. What did you do? I missed you. Alfin. But after what happened because of me... I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward? You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head, too? <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> Is it just me, or are they...? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. We all express ourselves in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. Thanks. I'll be okay. Let's go. We have to take Volron out. Right. Those things that came out of Xion are her thorns, right? 
She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. But those thorns are no astral art, and she cannot control them. Such immense astral energy, too. Just what are her thorns, really, I wonder? I suppose she might have an answer, but isn't yet ready to talk. Xion. How's that for a kick? I'm getting better, right? Quite. I'll be relying on your fancy footwork. Does fancy footwork mean running away like a chicken? No! I'm in good form. I'll crush any enemy with my mace. Awesome! We've got an avatar of destruction here! Truly, she leaves naught but rubble in her wake. Are you guys asking to be her next target? So, the Sovereign, the Renes Alma, the fate of Lenegas 300 years ago? Yes, that is a lot to take in, isn't it? I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. It was Naori, wasn't it? So, what do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Xion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously? These so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. Uh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. Do you think Volron could have been behind what just happened with Xion's thorns? I'm not sure. If it was bait he needed, kidnapping her should have sufficed. Perhaps he had some other purpose in mind. Her thorns aside, as a hostage, surely it would have made more sense to keep her close at hand. So why did he leave her unguarded? If getting rid of Alfin was Volron's only priority, then he could have ambushed us directly. It's not as if he lacked the power. He chose not to, which means he's toying with us, prolonging Alfin's suffering as much as he can. But why? What does Volron specifically have against Alfin? Is it because he's leading the Danon Rebellion? Possibly. But try to see it from Volron's perspective. He'd do anything to win the Crown Contest, correct? Knowing that the true Sovereign already exists somewhere is bound to ruffle his feathers. Have your paths crossed before, Alfin? Only when I've been with you guys. In the end, we just find more mysteries. What isn't a mystery is how badly we're gonna beat this creep up once we find him. <sighs> what a simple and straightforward person you are, Law. Way to give us a heart attack. I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out for a while there. I'm just glad everyone's safe. Really glad. What about you, Xion? How are you feeling? He didn't... do anything to you, did he? The... The last thing I remember is being back on the ship. Back then. Seeing Alfin's pain return to him the moment he touched me. It brought me back to my childhood. The fear in people's eyes whenever they were around me. And the next thing I knew, darkness was welling up inside me. It was smothering me. I, I couldn't see anything anymore. 
I was all alone. Xion... You're okay now. You're safe, Xion. We're here with you. You're not alone any longer. Thank you. Must be Voron's Imperial Guard. They don't seem to be keeping lookout. More like they're waiting. Oh well, the royal welcome was nice while it lasted. Time to get our fists dirty, huh? Wait, we don't have a plan! As far as law's concerned, this is the plan. Let's go! Open your eyes! It's blind loyalty is just another form of slavery. Glory be to Volra! That's useless. They're brainwashed. Just like the Ganon puppets we dealt with outside. That didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. Expected. 
Olon's elite guards are quite formidable. Their equipment and training far exceed those of any foot soldier. We need to be careful not to let them exhaust us before we reach Volron. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. He really didn't cut any corners. They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle seems even more reflective of its owner's personality. In what way? It feels overbearing, tyrannical almost. But more than anything, Merciless. As if any pretense to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination, and a thirst for total power. In other words, the perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two! Is it just me, or is the Blazing Sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah, as if the astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his Sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations needed. Oh man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are! I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think we're good. Now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a Bond thing! Aw, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Kisara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. When I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I... can't describe it. In other words, your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. <sighs> hmm? With 
such a huge area to search. Where should we even begin? I believe the largest, tallest structure would be best. In castles, you'll often find the things of most import are located in such areas. Spoken like someone who used to own one. So where is he? There's no sign of him here, so I can only assume he's waiting for us in his throne room. What's with all the fake suspense? Why doesn't he just come out and face us? I'll say. It's not like he's had any problem doing that in the past. This is all one big game to him. He's probably savoring every last moment. Like a Zoogle toying with its food before the kill. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. This is all just a ploy to weaken his prey, wearing us down before the final ambush. It's all too well orchestrated to be anything else. Alvin? I'm fine. Once we defeat Volron, the final Master Core will be ours. With that, we can create the Renis Alma and finally put an end to this whole nightmare. In a bind? These uh, ones can run rings around us! Sure. Okay. You're finished! I'll tear I'll you never apart! Miss. Catapult! These are the largest to me! Catapult! Uh, it's it's over! Anything you don't... Light burst forth! Radiant Genesis! My turn! I do it! Come on, see what I can do! Hurricane Spot! Challenge denied! You're mine! You're finished! Blow away! Blow away! Going in! Shield and mask! You made me angry. That was a bad idea. You're mine! Dragon Elusive Deity! I'll take you all on! Ha! Flare Demolica! Going to the Commander of Heaven, Phoenix Cyclone! Onward and upward.
Is the path being pulled up like some kind of drawbridge? I'm guessing there's no way to kick it back down, huh? Most likely, it's connected to a control apparatus of some sort. I suggest we search around and see what we uncover. this to stop us perhaps they were trying to exhaust us we seem to have come across something a little unusual oh man i hope i live long enough to regret this no further Grant me the strength to march on! Here goes! Lionheart! Confiscated! An astral art? That's my cue! Shut him down! This one's mine! Dragon Force! Are you ready? Totally! In an instant! Impact Cross! Grant me the strength to march on! Another incantation ruined. You picked the wrong one. Resonate with the earth. Take this. You're finished. He's far enough. That's enough. You're mine. Lightning reflexes. I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Tenebrous claw. Grant me the strength. All yours, Kisara. Looks like we got them all. Blade. 
in a bind. Dragon Swarm! Do it! Begin! Grant me the strength to march on! Using rock! I'll take you all on! Ha! Flare the Malice up! Benediction light. Here I come! Here I come! Not on my watch! Heal! Oh. Our arm is being interrupted! Try harder! No! Don't Grant take me this. the strength to march on! Grant me the strength to march on! Strength to march on. Don't be the best! Lion Hall! Be cool now! Ignore! You're all wrong! Benediction light! You're finished! Armor won't save you! Shading pile driver! Good hurricane! Grant me the strength to march on! It'll do it! Right! Still! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Grant me I'm turn. ready! First oh. Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Lady Fortune must truly be watching over me.